guys, welcome back to the channel. Jenny here, the Uncrafty Crafter. I've got a Diamond Art Club unboxing today, and I'm excited because this one is a round. I have worked so many squares, and I'm currently super close to finishing this um, Inspiration of Spring Meadows from Chuck Pinson, and it's a square. I've enjoyed working on it, but it's massive, and I really, really, I'm just eager to do a round. Now, that's not saying that this is gonna be the next one I do, but it's a possibility. So, this is a new release from Diamond Art Club. It is a round, and let's get into it. I'm gonna keep it a surprise. May not be much of a surprise if you already know um, my style. <laughs> A lot of you are probably already knowing what this one is. However, um, I will say that this has, I don't remember if there were other rounds for this new release. This may have been the only one. I don't know. Don't know that we'll pretend like there were multiples and you have to guess which one it is. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so we have a toolkit. We have a, a beautiful canvas. Oh, we got a little bitty sticker. And got a big sticker. And I think that's it. I'm excited that it's around though. So we have our toolkit here. Um, if you're new to diamond painting or newer, um, and haven't ever bought from Diamond Art Club before, um, then I'll go ahead and show you what's in their toolkit. You get a little pin, a diamond painting pin. You get some extra baggies to store your diamonds in. You get a four-placer. And again, if you're new and don't really know what a four-placer or a multi-placer means, that just simply means that you can use this on the end of your pin and you can place single diamonds at a time with the single placer or you can put this on the end of your pin and you can multi-place which means you can multi-place four diamonds at one time of the same color so it helps speed up your diamond painting time a little bit um, you get a couple heart-shaped plates of wax a squishy for your pin so that it's more comfortable to hold and then you get a little clear tray with a funnel um, to shake your diamonds in and line them up. And then you have the spout here to pour them out when you're done. So that's what we have in our toolkit, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Poppy, why are you crying? What are you doing? Can you get out of there, please? Poppy. Get out of there. Go on. Go. Scoot your booty. She's under my desk. I don't know if she sees something, smells something she wants. I don't know. Okay. Toolkit out of the way. Now, let's open a Z Diamond painting up. Uh oh. My dogs are gonna fight, it sounds like. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyway, Pepper's in a mood, Poppy's in a mood. When those two are in a mood, yeah, they collide. Not crazy, but you know, they tend to like, wanna argue with each other like two girls would do, right? Okay, pull out Uzi Diamond. Pretty diamonds. Ooh. And you get a pamphlet which has instructions and a thank you card here and then a percentage off of your next purchase. So if you've never diamond painted before, you have instructions here. Um, tips and tricks for your project. Nice to have. And I believe uh, that is all that is in the Z um, thing. 
Yeah. So I am going to lay this down so you guys can look at it. It is so pretty. Look. It's huge. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it's so pretty. It's called Wildflowers and Butterflies. It is by Gina Jane, and it is an 84 by 56 centimeter. It's round with AB. Here is the thumbnail. Pretty symbols, they're always clear. Um, legend on both sides, as always. Um, this one has three ABs which is exciting. Isn't it so pretty? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. So, I'll try to show you the whole thing. Move it around a little bit. But look at the butterflies. The detail is awesome. And then we have all these pretty flowers. Isn't it beautiful? Sorry for the glare. But yes, it is beautiful. It is so pretty. So let's um, look at the sticker first. This is one of the new stickers, yay! So you can put this in your logbook if you'd like. It's got a start date and an end date. It tells you again the size. This one has 54 colors. And looky here, it's got the little perforated um, labels for easy peasy, you know, peel them off one at a time. I love that. Um, because for the longest time we've all just kind of cut them and then ch -ch 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 all the different ones. So very nice. Here's the image. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Love it. Okay, let's look at the diamonds. Again, this is a round. This is going to be so much fun to work because of all the pretty colors and because it's a round, it's going to be easy. Um, there's little bursts of color blocking and little bursts of confetti. Um, so I think it's going to be a really fun canvas to work on. I love the colors. It's amazing. It's going to be so pretty. I want to work on it now. <laughs> Start with this yummy licious bag here so we have see how pretty those rounds are so pretty some 3325 two bags some 700 Ooh, look at that pretty green it's a bright grass green 3371 looks like little chocolate chips 3841 two bags we have a bag of 890 701 3755, 743, 699, backwards. All right, some 976, 322, 135 is an AB and it's a green. There's not much in there, but we'll see where that goes. 209, 
126 is another AB, and it's a purple one. Again, not very many. So we'll see where it goes. 739, 900, 947, 312, 208, 3837, 434, 601, 814, 433, 334, 938, 991, 823, and 907. One more. Okay, 340, 600, 498, 136. Okay, here's this bluish purple AB. It's really pretty, and there's quite a bit of them in there. 797, 3746, 963, 605, 336, 704, 48, 43, 602, 333, 310, 603, 701, and 604. Okay. Let's get down and look and see if we can find the ABs. Want to, want to, want to, want to. Okay, the first one is one, which is 126, which is that light, um, what color was that? Was it the pink one or purple one? Yeah, 126 is this purple one here. That one. And let's see if we can find. Okay, we have some down here in this flower. Some light of the ones here. Some in the here. And through here, this light shading here, purple. And um, we have some here throughout. Um, I think those are like bluebells, maybe. Um, and then we have some over here, um, in this section, which you can't see what I'm looking at right here. There's some more ones. Um, I don't see any. Uh, but I'm sure that there are a few more sprinkled here and there. Here and there, here and there, and everywhere. Um, and then the next color is two, the 135, which is a green. Um, let's see. Okay, I see some here in the leaf. See this lighter green in the leaf here? So that's going to be the AB. And then we have some more... Mm. Okay, we have some more here in this section, this little leafy green section here. Some more on the very edge here, some, and then some more right in here on the bottom corner here. Um, and then the three, which is that bluish purple, is going to be okay we have some here is that right uh, hold on a second okay i see some right here um I'll just get you down a little bit more we have some right here uh, some up here Some down here. I'm going to pull you back up. Uh, we have some through here. We have a bunch through here. 
right through here. Sorry for that glare. I'm trying to get away from the glare. But we have some through here. And in here a little bit. Um, where are you threes? Okay, we have some over here in this area just a little bit. Uh, so I move it back over here because I feel like they're mostly going to be okay. We have a bunch down here. Did I already show you these down here in this section? There's some. See how glittery that is? Pretty. Uh, so yeah, there's there's several. Um, in some of the different purpley places, purple and bluishy places. Uh, I see some more up here in these little bluebells or whatever those are. I believe that's what they are. So, yeah, if there are, you know, I mean, if you have some other colors of ABs, um, I think you could sprinkle some here and there of different colors just to your liking. Because um, I really feel like there wasn't a ton, ton um, for this size of a picture shoe um but yeah this is gonna be such a fun one to work on i love it there are some new symbols too that i'm not used to let's look and see if we can see so we have our a b's here the one two three the u i'm not used to i've never seen this one before um a star. I'm not used to seeing a star either, I don't think. This is a weird one. Unless that's just the letter O. I'm not sure. Um, I call that one alien eyes. <laughs> um, yeah, this little squiggle with a line. This one feels new to me. The, like, half a square with a dot in the middle. This little TP looking thing or antenna. But the rest of them seem good to go. So, anyway, yes, that is it for this canvas. Um, I will make sure to leave a link in the description box to Diamond Art Club. Um, not sure if this one is currently still in stock or not, if it's not, make sure to enter your email address so that you can get a notification whenever it does come back in stock. So uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up button before you head out the door. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, ding, 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 to get notified the next time I upload another video, okay? Talk to you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.